What is up everyone? Welcome back to our lawn and today we're back here in the white trash graveyard because this is where my sand pile is and today as I'm sure you could tell from the thumbnail and the title is a top dress day. So with this what I'm going to do I'm going to walk you through how I use the tools and materials that I have available to me in order to consistently top dress the green and keep the surface firm rolling smoothly and rolling as quickly as I can get it. sand pile has been back out here. Unfortunately, it's got weeds growing in it. It's got some stuff growing in it. Not ideal, but it's not the end of the world either. I'm gonna use my little screen to get at least some of the bigger rocks that have worked their way in here out of it. And so I'm set up back here because I use this bit of concrete to dry my sand out. I'm fortunate enough in my area to have access to a golf course supplier. So I am working with a USGA spec sand, which I'm very blessed to have access to without a whole lot of additional effort or expense. I'm gonna turn the other way and get dizzy. And again, like I said, there are weeds in here, there's issues, but I'm not overly worried about it with how short I'm cutting and the fact that I haven't ran out and I don't have this pure bent grass set up even though I've seeded into it. I'm not all that worried about if we get some weeds, whatever, we can spray them out and a lot of it'll die off just being cut as short as it's cut. So all I'm gonna do here because I am gonna put this through a spreader. I need it to be dry. Just to spread this out on the concrete here and let it sit. Ideally we'd have some sun but I'm too late in the day for that. Sorry about that, guys. You just dry it out. Get you in the spreader. When we want to get there, we'll show you what I use and talk about how it's working for me. There we go. And now we wait. And so we are, I don't know, three weeks later from when I top dressed. And to talk you through the rest of the process and kind of show you what I do, that sand is all dried out and then it is ready to go into the spreader. I bought a Yardworks drop spreader. Uh, if the sand is very dry, it works very well. Um, it also worked if the sand was dry through my Agrifab uh, spreader, but I do believe it caused some damage to it, amongst other things and reasons why I probably wouldn't recommend anybody buy that spreader. And I don't want to do it to the Lesco one that I got because that one's nicer and I don't want to ruin it. But that Yardworks drop spreader does a really good job. I go over it typically in both directions just to lay it out there. Again, this isn't a leveling project. This is a surface playability project. We're trying to keep the surface firm, smooth, fast, and also prevent any sort of worm casting or other organic matter buildup on the surface, just continuing throughout the year to dilute that with the sand that we're putting on top. And so once we get all the sand down evenly spread out through over everything, then I come back through with a broom. We just want to get the sand down into the canopy as best as possible, expose enough of the leaf tissue so that we don't smother any of the grass. Again, this is all very light, very thin. We're not leveling. We're just trying to get it all smoothed up, firmed up. Again, while this wasn't an overly successful year in terms of green management or maintenance, it's all gone now and it's only two or three weeks later. So that's my process on an ongoing basis. It has worked quite well for me to this point to maintain the surface, keep it smooth, keep it rolling well, despite the fact that I really can't cut it super short due to the slope that it's on. And also just for the sake of maintaining it at a reasonable condition, not having to go down to you know, an eighth or even less than an eighth. And there you go, simple as that. I try to do that once a month. I'm gonna say this year I did it three times, including the heavy one that I did uh, when I went to renovate and see. So as always, thank you so much for watching. It is starting to get towards the end of the season. So what that means is we're gonna have some of the lessons learned videos. I plan on walking through the programs that I ran, the results that I saw. Uh, how much those cost me. Also talk about the putting green and, kind of, and the practice facility, what happened and how I'm using that to drive my plan for next year and hopefully how that can help you uh, potentially maintain some of the disease issues that you might have or run into. So again, keep an eye out for those as we wrap up again another season here in our lawn. Maybe, just maybe, 2025 to the year where I managed to not mess this all up back here. But we're 0 for 4 so far. 
maybe next year's the one. So as always, leave any comments, questions you might have about the process, anything we're doing here, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment with any questions you have. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.